Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So we probably have all encountered times when we're on a restricted Wi-Fi network. Whether it's through work, school, or maybe even by your country, it's annoying when you can't access sites because they're blocked. However, like all things in this world, there is a way through that. And that is through a technology called VPN, or Virtual Private Network. VPN allows you to access blocked websites and also gives you a higher amount of security than what you'll find on a free public Wi-Fi network. So before we get started, let me just show you how this is going to work. So on my own website, on my own network, I blocked opensourcegangster.com. .com, let's go there and go. As we see, we're going to get a rejected message from the network. So I cannot access my own website. Now, using something called VPN, we can get around that. So I'm going to go to the Play Store. There are a lot of different VPNs in which we can choose from. Now, the problem is most of these VPNs offer either a free trial version that you have to pay for later or limited bandwidth or they're just really inconvenient. However, one VPN that I like to use a lot is called FreeVPN and that's because it is completely free, no bandwidth, and it's just straightforward. So let's open it up. Now you do need to have a rooted Android device in order to use this VPN and that's probably the only downside to this, where most VPNs you don't need a rooted Android device. So as soon as we open it up, it's going to start US Server 1 because I'm in the US. Um, and you want to wait for that to load before you enable it because you might get a force close. So starting 47%. Alright, and it's connected. Now, actually, I'm going to change this to US Server 3 down here. Let's disconnect first. US Server 3 and on. Alright, and the reason why I'm doing US Server 3 is just because there's less traffic on here. Alright, so now it says we're connected. So let's go back to Chrome. And let's go back to opensourcegangster.com, which I previously blocked in this network. And look at that. We can access it now. Now, the speed is not, like I said, the fastest thing. Um, you are going to experience some slowdown. It's not going to be as fast as what you're normally used to, just because this is being routed through the VPN. Um, so the speed, like I said, it's not going to be as fast as what you're used to. I see it took a few seconds longer than what it usually takes to load the website. However, it still works, and you can still access pretty much any any other website. So if you're at school, work, or wherever, um, and you need to access Twitter or Facebook, this is a great alternative, um, or YouTube as well. Streaming might not be the fastest thing through this, but nonetheless, it will still work. So guys, this has been a quick video on how to access blocked websites on your Android device. Like I said, try it for yourself. It's a great way to get past uh, network uh, filters and restrictions, and it works great. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another guidance and video.